All right, we're inside again. Back once again in the factory. Let's have a look around, shall we? God, it's very noisy. Very, very noisy. I guess we're back to try and wreck things. Now, how we're going to do? I'm not sure. Let's try in here. I'm a bit worried about piggies being around. There's a ladder over there, but there's, yet there's a gate there. I don't know which way we're supposed to go, guys. Let's have a quick look up here. Maybe there's something up here we need. The spark plug, it says. Hey, what's this? What is this? Danger! Compound X! No naked flames, no unshielded electrics. And we can wiggle this around. Whoa! What's going on with this? That's a really cool reaction there. Let's read the journal. At the spark plug. This electrification must be lethal to the touch. Now to confound the machine and flood the system. This time not with sewage, but with boiling, sparking, liquid death. Alright, how do we do that then? Uh, that's all well and good, but how do I get it to go down? Hmm. didn't help. That well, seems to be arcing down below. Okay, I guess we leave it like that. I don't know what else we're supposed to do with it. Well, there seems to be another way around here. Let's check that out. I don't know how you release the liquid, that's the thing. Oh no! Hello, pig man. Oh crap. Oh no! Oh no, we got killed. That was a bit cheap. Oh, we didn't get killed. What the hell? Oh, we did. Okay. So I'm not supposed to fall down there, I guess. Okay. Well, I'm not sure what's supposed to do then. Well, let's check this out, I guess. I guess we're on the wrong way. This is the trippery, but we can't get in there. Coolant tanks. Compound X, that's that thing again. That's the journal say. This vital concoction, this compound X is the arterial blood of this horror. Boiled it creates the steam to drive the pistons, but here it is freezing and flows about the components to keep them cool. Why should it be that the deeper I go, the cooler it becomes? What great process generates such heat that the machine must quench it with a cocktail blood and effluent? Blood and effluent, eh? Nice.
Oh, there's a note. October 27th, 1899. Then upstairs to bed. To bed. To toss and turn on bloated stomachs. To copulate and puke upon the chaise lounge. Poor poster or dressing table. Collapse at last into the engulfing mattress. Drunk and drugged and fat and stupid and senseless. And spring the trap. Man piggies, spring the trap. At the pull of a lever lever. At the set of hydraulic pistons and gears are fired. Resulting in three walls of steel bars dropping from the ceiling via the canopy to cage the product into the bed, preventing escape. The entire bed is then tilted backwards into the wall by a powerful spring mechanism, also fed by the hydraulics. The pressure for this system is created by the byproduct of the vacuum as a visceration system employed by a mass production elsewhere on the pig line. In this way we have created our very own bottled revolution, for the movement of the masses is a casual factor in the extermination of the rich. Ooh, extermination of the rich? I like the sound of that. What's this? We can't move it, whatever it is. Oh yeah, we can slide it. So we need to slide that somewhere. So this must be the comp fabled compound X. And where, where are we sliding it to exactly? We're going to slide it along there? Or are we supposed to be sliding it down here? I guess we're supposed to... We've got a journal entry. Coolant pumps. I sense an opportunity. My first strike. Impending... Imp impending these cogs with a large enough object should jam the flow of coolant, causing a pressure build-up that will split the pipes and rupture the tanks. So it's found. So we stick one one of these for the car oh, is heavy. Try to push it off the edge. I can barely push it. There we go. Whee, there we goes. Oh man. That did the job nicely. Should we get another one for good measure? Just to make sure. It's really hard to move these things up. There we go. Away you go. <laughs> Alright, I guess we can use this uh, ladder now. So, we've successfully sabotaged the machine, have we? Am I supposed to jump in that lot? I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do now. I don't think I'm supposed to jump into that. That that sounds like a daft idea. And s especially since there's barriers all around this. This is just so you can get a better look, I think. Hopefully. So, we've stopped that. And we can't get through there. So, where are we supposed to go next? We're supposed to go back? Oh, this is now full of water, look. It's flooded. So, are we supposed to do something with this again, though? Does that mean that... Oh, does that mean the water's flow next door? Maybe it does. I better turn it off, then. Did, it, uh, did that electrocute the pig man down here? It did electrocute the pig man down here. Excellent. How do we get down without without hurting ourselves? Can we push a barrel? No, we can't push a barrel. I guess we're just gonna 
Try and... Oh, there we go. Hey, electrocuted pig man. Tough break, buddy. <laughs> That's for killing us the first time. <laughs> hey, let's activate the thingy, whatever this thing is. Whoa. Let's see, what is this? Pig line central operations. We just... What's this coolant pump thingy? Oh, looks like we're messing things up here. Oh, man. Are we meant to be breaking yet? Ow. Oh. Let's carry on. Oh, my God. We're supposed to be ruining the... Oh, I guess we're trying to destroy this place, but Jesus. Oh, there's electric current going to the both of them. We can't touch that now. I know you, machine. I know what you fear. I will rain excrement into your very soul. <laughs> I will destroy you. You are two motormanders. My great works are almost begun. <laughs> I love the dialogue. I will rain excrement upon your soul. Who flung down? Okay, I guess I'll work here this time, maybe. I think we'll get electrocuted if we touch that anymore. Oh, the door is now opened again. Is any other doors opened? No. Ah, this one appears to be open. Oh, there's a note. October 27th, 1899. And waste not, want not, for here the assorted slop and innards are sifted and sorted and enter the world through more channels and means than one could possibly conceive. The product passes by this section of the engine and is driven through the blade, splitting it into two sections ready for the butcher's block. And in the interim, it is kept in our freezer bays under the house, and the heat is produced naturally by the refrigeration process feeds into the pipes and the crannies of these rooms, and is the very reason, my dear friend, that we sit here in shirts and waistcoats, but no jackets, on a freezing winter's night, without a fire in the grate, and discuss our great enterprise. The warmth in our bellies and toes may be attributed directly to those bellies and toes now passing through steam, fire, and blade beneath our feet. Very nice. Very nice explanation about how it works. And how it, uh, how it warms everything. Warms the heart, I guess. Okay, so we're going back into the trippery, it seems. Under the note. Oh, pigman. What's going on in there? It's a lot of notes again. December 7, 2nd, 1899. Walking away from those temples, that small pile of stones under the rhododendrons, the skull of innocence under the loose clod. Headless rib cages in the cool stone behind the altars, three thousand miles apart. I trace back my life to this instance. Rain channels eroded on ancient stone. The toxins are already in this damp, this falling water. I hack and wrench and vomit into the sink and grasp the bowl with both hands and stare. There in the plug hole, as clear as day, a toy spine, a clockwork and intricate, like a child's spine, but clockwork. How could that be? How could a child's spine be made like clockwork? I washed it carefully and placed it on the mantelpiece, by the egg I laid myself, 
under the garden where the children's skulls are buried. I call it my Mexico. <laughs> yeah, that makes about as much sense as that just sounded. <laughs> what the hell? Someone's not happy. Channel entry. Clearly the ravings of a madman. Someone wants his dummy. Let's read the journal entry. The path to the tripery on the tripery on the tripery. It is, it is crick. Uh, it is critically injured now. I'm sure of that. It jeers no more. I feel it shudder around me. A wounded animal pressed flat to the ground. I feel it afraid of me, and I hate it all the more. As I hate myself for unleashing it, my head pounds with blood. My teeth vibrate. I retch and burn with a fever. I am an angel of death descending to smother the firstborn for the death of the two that came after. Very good. I am here again, at the foot of those stairs. Towards the red light of the nursery. Sunset in the window like a bleeding sky. The horizon a slit throat. The seeping dark to drain the guilt from us. I am the jaguar-faced man. I am the feathered serpent. This priesthood is mine. Not sure which is the correct way. All oh, right, this this lets us know there's a pigman here in this room. Hello, Mr. Pigman. What the heck is that? It's like a wall of blood in there. He appears to be doing some kind of. Horrific experiment on him. Ah. Lovely. Some kind of intrusion in the buttock. Very nasty. Okay, guys, with that, <laughs> with that happy note, I'm going to leave things off here, I think. Um, with this lovely river of blood as well. We, we, we seem to be definitely becoming... Oh? Your great engineer, how marvellous. I must say, Mr. Manders, my excitement is almost unseemly. Yes, I can see that. Step this way, Professor. I will be right behind you. Manders. Manders, where the devil are you? I can't see a damn thing. Manders! We are the pig, Professor. We are all the pig. Yes, indeed, we are all the pig. See you next time, guys. <laughs>